What's going on everybody? Today I've got a crazy good topic for you. How to level up financially. Last week someone commented on my video and said, can you make a video about working hard and leveling up? And I got to thinking, I was like, wow, that's a topic I actually love talking about and it's something I haven't directly talked about on this channel. So you're in for a good video today because I put some time into this and I'm super excited to share what I have for you. The first thing I wanna say is this, if you wanna level up financially, it takes extreme focus. That's with anything in life that you wanna level up in. If you're someone who plays video games, how do you level up when you play video games? You have to put the time in and you have to really focus. You might have some challenges, you might have your frustrations, you might throw the controller a few times. I know how it gets. But through all of that, you put the time in, you level up, whether it's on Call of Duty, on Halo, whether you're trying to beat a game from start to finish on the hardest level, you have to put the time in, you have to really focus, you have to really understand the patterns and really understand what you're up against. That's how you level up in video games. Life isn't that much different. In life, we have things like relationships, health, physique, finances, career, stuff like that, right? So in order to level up in those, you really have to focus in and you really have to prioritize what's important to you in order to level up in any of those. And so when it comes to finances, this is how you level up financially. First of all, you have to get back to basics. And what I mean by that is basic financial discipline. Are your finances looking good at the base level? So you want to ask yourself stuff like, how is my check-in and my savings account looking right now? Am I comfortable with how they look? Like, do I have enough in my checking to support me for right now? Do I have enough in my savings as a nice cushion if I absolutely had to touch it in an emergency? On top of that, do I have my emergency fund started? Like, how am I looking as far as the basics goes? How much debt am I in right now? And do I have a plan in place to get out of debt and to build my savings? And when you look at your debt, you wanna look at how high is the interest? Like, am I super deep in credit card debt right now? Because if not, I really need to tweak my plan to make sure I get that paid off super quick so it doesn't keep growing on me like that. That way, I can build my savings equally as well. You wanna ask yourself, am I in deep credit card debt? If I am, what is my plan to get out of it? And if you're not looking too good in one of these categories within your finances, then you know you need to keep focusing in on it until you get it right. And the reason why you've gotta get back to basics is because if you never get the basics in the first place, like if you never get to budget your money and you never get to prioritize by saving your money, if you never get yourself out of high interest debt, when you do come into a lot of money, you're just gonna make the same mistakes over and over again, except in this time, you'll be in a much deeper hole. You can correct those mistakes early on in your financial life. You're correcting right now for a better future, right? And getting, your, and getting your basics in order right now might require a little bit of sacrifice. Be like, you know what? I'm not gonna order from Uber Eats tonight. I'm gonna buy the used car in cash instead of the brand new car. That way I don't have payments every month. I was gonna buy those Jordans that cost $350, but I'm gonna hold off for right now. I got other priorities. And it's not fun, it's not sexy, but it is important for you to do if you wanna level up. Like when you level up, sometimes you have to grind a little bit. You have to face a little bit of boredom. You have to make a few sacrifices. You might get frustrated. You might want to walk away from your budget when you first start planning it out because it gets a little too complicated. But once you keep at it, you find that it gets easier and easier until it becomes second nature to you. That's personal finance. And that's why getting back to basics is so important because once you have that straightened out from the start or at least early on, now when you do come into some money, now once you do improve the amount of income that's coming in, now you know exactly what to do with it and what not to do with it because you've made those mistakes earlier, you've corrected them, now you're all good to go. Plus, you can sleep well at night knowing that you have a good savings, you have no debt or at least a very little bit of debt and you have more money coming in. That's what you want. So the first thing is actually focusing in on your basics. That's budgeting, increasing your savings, lowering your debt, keeping your overhead low, and increasing your income. That's the basics. So once all that's squared away, the biggest thing you wanna double down on and really focus in heavy on is your mindset. And I'm talking about the mindset of improving. No matter what you're doing, you wanna always improve. And the biggest thing I've noticed throughout my adult life, throughout my entire career, people with strong mindsets are the most successful. I'm not talking about just saying, I want to improve, I want to get out of debt, I want to save, I want to be wealthy, I want to invest. Nah, people who actually put the work in and actually do it 
We have a lot of talkers out here, and this video is not for those people. This video is for those who want to take action on the advice given to then level up financially. That's what this is all about. That's what I'm all about. And the reason I bring up the video game analogy is because for one, it's a cold analogy, but two, it's probably one of the most relatable analogies because everybody has something that they are just adamant that they've got to be good and that they want to keep improving in. And typically it's one of two things, sports or video games. And so that mindset when you're playing that video game, when you're in front of that screen for hours and you're pressing the buttons on the controller, then you accidentally hit a button combination that destroys your enemy or whatever the case is, right? Or the other team, you wanna be like, what, what was that? What did I just do? And you improve, you figure out what that combination was and you figure out how to do it more often. Then somebody online comes and smacks you because they already know what that combination is. They know how to counteract it. And from there, you're like, how do I improve so I can knock them out of the water next time? How do I get to that next boss battle? How do I get to the next level? How do I unlock this special armor? How do I unlock the bonus mission? You get what I'm saying? These are the things that we have since we're children that we already inherently have within us. We just have to redirect some of that towards something that we want to pursue in life, whether it's a high paying career, whether we want to launch our own business, build passive income, you have to improve. There's no way around it. I know some people around here who are high earning individuals might make life look like they have it on easy mode, but I promise you, none of us have life on easy mode. We all face challenges and it's not like things are just handed to everybody. Like you actually have to work if you want to level up financially. I don't care what anybody says. Same thing with sports. I used to be into basketball until I found out that I really, really sucked at it. I used to love the game, but that's just not where my talents were. God didn't make me to play basketball, straight up. But what I would look around and see was there were a bunch of kids my age who were just determined that they were gonna be the best. They were gonna go to the NBA. They were gonna play on high school basketball teams and on college basketball teams. And some of them did. Same thing with football. But you know, the, the difference between having the level focus for video games and sports is that people find video games and sports really, really fun. Fulfilling, the crowd's cheering, they have cheerleaders. And it's fulfilling to be valuable on a team, having teammates that actually value having you on the team, knowing that they can count on you to make that touchdown or make that buzzer beater at the basketball game. So that's fun, that's fulfilling, you don't have to read any boring books. Like you just get in there and you, you're all about the action. But to level up financially, what's more realistic is that you're probably not gonna be professionally playing video games. You're probably not gonna be professionally playing sports. Some of you will, but the mass majority will not. But that's okay, we have careers, we have businesses. We have other ways of making money outside of those things, outside of entertainment, outside of sports and video games and things of that nature. And these come in the forms of careers and businesses and things of that nature. The thing about careers and businesses, they, these aren't things that you can just walk into, turn the TV on, press a button, boom, you're in there and you can start practicing and you can start applying what you've learned. No. Nah. Typically, it starts in a classroom where you're learning about things that you feel like you will never have to use in your life. And you're not completely wrong because half the things you do learn in school, you will never use in life. And I, and I get it. It's boring but you have to focus because making those good grades in schools gets you into the schools that you want to get into so you can actually learn your craft in whichever field you want to get into. If you want to be an engineer, if you want to be a dentist, a nurse practitioner, a doctor, a software developer, like you typically have to go to school for these things. And the stuff you learn is not always fun. But what I realized is the difference between when I was in college versus my professional life in college, like, yeah, kind of boring, but back then, even then, I understood and I knew, you know what, you, you gotta grind for a few years, you gotta put the work in so you get the good grades, so you get the internship, so you get the job, and you're in there. That's just the discipline of it. Like, if you wanna go and in, get into law school or medical school, it's the same thing, you gotta put in that work. You might not ever have to apply what you've learned in English 101 or 102. You may never have to use college level algebra. You may never have to worry about what the partial pressure is from chemistry class when you're in law school, but you've got to take these classes. There's weed out classes in college. There's even weed out classes in high school, but you have to put the work in early. And what I've noticed is even after taking all those boring classes, I've taken four electronic engineering classes in my college career. I've not used a single thing that I've learned from any one of them. And those were the most boring classes ever. But you know what? I aced them. I put in that work. 
it was boring. It was so boring. I fell asleep in class almost every single class. When I was reading, I fell asleep. But you know what? Once I got that career, once I got that high paying job, I found that the actual work itself was actually really fulfilling. And when you have something that you feel fulfilled in, you want to keep improving. You want to do better in it. So you keep leveling up and you get to the point where you want to read up on your industry. You want to understand how to do better, how to excel. You want to seek mentorship and apprenticeship or whatever else there is available to you. That's how you level up. And you have to have drive and desire in order to level through the boringness and the monotony of the day-to-day -day grind, the going to school, listen to the teacher talk or professor talk, taking notes. You gotta have it in you. You have to wanna level up. You can't come to me and say, I wanna level up financially, I wanna get my bag right, you know what I'm saying? I wanna make so much money, but you're not even willing to read a book because it's boring. You'd rather go watch Netflix, go watch Netflix then. That's how I feel about it. You can watch as much Netflix as you want once you've obtained your goals and you're financially stable. Go watch my video about how to get financially stable. I'll tell you in that video. That's how you get back to basics. I'm getting all kinds of fired up right now. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. You have to have that fire within you and know this is what I want to do and I'm going to improve until I get there. And you have to be willing to face adversity and face challenges. When I first started my career, I sucked. People laughed at me. I was told several times to rethink the course of my career, and several times I did. I went home rethinking every decision I've ever made in my entire life because I felt like I was a failure because I chose the wrong career. But guess what? I kept improving. I kept powering through. I kept learning. I kept getting smarter. Everybody else was staying the same. I kept learning. I kept excelling because I refused to be average. To me, leveling up was the only option I had. I don't think there's anyone I know that has the same level of disdain for staying in the same place as I do. I can't stand it and I won't stand for it. I'm not the type to stay within the same place, stay at the same salary, stay at the same level. I've got to level up. The way you level up financially is finding things that you're uncomfortable in. Like I used to get uncomfortable speaking publicly in front of people. Now I do it all the freaking time. I've been doing it every single day for like five years. You get used to it. You become a natural at it. Being able to speak in front of people is a valuable skill that not everybody has because most people can't get through the nerves that they feel, the butterflies in their stomach when they're in front of people. You gotta work through that. Everybody's not good at interviewing. How do you think people get the high paying jobs? They have to actually interview and do well to get in there. And before they interview, they have to display through their resume the skill set that they do have and then speak to them in the interview. You have to be willing to level up in everything. That's why I said it can't just be money. The way you start is by focusing in on your finances, making sure you're straight there. Cool. But you have to focus on everything in life. Like you have to focus on your confidence, your voice tonality, your interviewing skills. You have to sharpen up on your skills in general. Like the skills you learn in school are definitely going to leave you if you don't use them. So that's figuring out ways to use your skills outside of school. And I'm not saying you just have to go to school. Like you could get a trade. It doesn't matter. Or you could just buy a course online and learn how to just get really good at certain skills. You know, there's this guy at work, right? He's one of the best controls engineers I've ever seen in my life. He's really good with PLCs and computers and all that stuff. A lot of stuff like stuff that I really can't even describe to you right now. Coding, all that good stuff. I was like, hey man, what was your degree in? He was like, uh, economics. I was like, echo what? He's like, yeah, economics. I just learned on the side how to do all this stuff. I just go home. I learn how to code. I learned about PLCs. I learned all that stuff. Just out of the pure interest. Do you know how boring PLCs are? Do you know how boring learning that? I had to go through some of that stuff in school. That mess is mad boring to me. But he found it interesting. He had the drive and the desire. He didn't want to work in economics. He didn't go get another degree. He learned stuff on the side. He had that drive and you know those jobs are top paying jobs right there. Anything in software, controls, computers, you get paid. Especially if you get so good at that and you have people skills and you know how to manage people. You be done, became a manager over that stuff and now you're really, really making money. Because now you're, you're telling the people who make $110,000 a year what to do. So how much do you think this guy's making? You get what I'm saying? That's how you level up financially. You gotta keep improving yourself. You gotta improve your people skills. You gotta improve your relationships. You gotta improve your network. Who are you even talking to? Remember, I always say, the five people you spend the most time with, you are an average of the five people you spend the most time with. Always remember that. 
What does the success of the five people you spend the most time with look like? What do their relationships look like? What does their salaries look like? What type of books do they read? Do they even read books? You get what I'm saying? These are the questions to ask yourself. Once you change your association, you change the direction of your whole life. And you might not even need to change your association, but that's just something I'm saying. Like your network is something you can improve upon. Your people skills is something you can improve upon. Your habits. Like, do you read every day? Do you listen to a podcast every day? Do you work out every day? Do you drink water every day? Do you eat right every day? These things are improvement. They're going to improve your confidence. And I speak about a lot of this stuff in my morning routine video that I posted last Friday because that's how you improve your confidence because you're actually doing something and you're actually fulfilling yourself. You're making your body healthier. You're improving your skills. You're more social. You're more interactive with people and you get the right relationships, the right people squared away. You don't need a lot of people. You don't need but like two to five. Two of my closest friends right now. When we when we all three get together, we are on top of the world. No one is stopping us. If y'all watching this video, y'all know who you are. You know what I'm saying? But that's how you level up. You don't level up by taking pictures of yourself, flaunting the money that you just made, that you just pulled straight out of the bank on Facebook or buying brand new Yeezys and flexing them on Facebook, or buying a brand new car that you know you can't afford that has an extremely high car note. That's just showing people how much things you have, especially if you're taking money straight out of the bank. Let's say you just made $2,500 on a paycheck, and you take all that out of the bank and you show it. Like, that money's not appreciating if you take it out the bank, so what, what you pull it out for? See, wealth is what you don't see, and that's what we're building on this channel. So anyone flying all this stuff, they might have some money, but they might not. You, you never know. Wealth is what you don't see. You can't see my bank account. You can't see my check and their savings account. You can't see my investment account. That's what you don't see. You don't see the appreciating assets. That's what you focus on. That's why I say the back to basics is so important. And once you do that and you improve your skills and you get your focus in, oh, you'll be on top of the world. Because once you increase your income and you redirect that money where it's supposed to go, that's how you level up financially. That's how you end up having five, six figures in your savings account and the same amount in your investment accounts too. It's prioritizing what's important to you. Which one is more important to you? Financial stability over the long term or having Uber Eats every single night, every single week, every single weekend. It's cool to be comfortable, but it's a very steep price to pay compared to sacrificing a little bit just so you can have your future in order. That's how you level up financially. I know I said that about nine times already, but I'm just putting that in there because this is something I'm really passionate about. You do all these things, they're not always the most desirable. I'm gonna tell you right now, going to get a trade isn't always the most desirable thing to do. Reading books, going to school, isn't always the most desirable thing to do. Getting over your fears, talking in front of people, learning how to code, learning how to program, learning how to do anything for the first time. It's daunting, it's not favorable, you, you don't wanna do it. I'll tell you this last story before I let you go. When I was in college, my professor was really, really weird. I'ma just say that. So we're halfway through the semester, so all right guys, for the rest of this class, we're not doing any more lectures, no more lessons, no more nothing. I've taught you everything. Keep in mind, halfway through the semester, so we really don't feel like we know that much, but he's like, nah, you guys got it. This is what I want you to do from here to the last day of this semester. This counts as your final, this counts as everything. I want you to design a 2D and 3D version of a solar powered cell phone charger. And I want it to be to scale. I want printouts and I wanna see it from the top view, the side view, the bottom view. I wanna see all of it. And then you know what I want you to do? I want you to build it from scrap parts that the school will pay for. I want you to figure out how we're gonna make it work. Tell me what you need, I'll order it for you. If you're wrong, whatever. You can try again. We'll just keep ordering until you get it right. Didn't give us any direction on it or anything from scrap metal. I'm talking brake drums. You know those brake drums that cars be having? I'm talking, we had a bake drum, uh, a bake drum. We had a brake drum as its base. We found a random scrap pole that we ran through it and welded it, which we still happen to learn how to weld in a separate class that was a prerequisite to this class. You see what I'm saying? We built a plexiglass seal over it, drilled a hole through it, ran wires down it got an inverter got a battery painted the thing purple and gold that's the school color shout out ecu go pirates put a solar panel on top of it now and we had shelves in the plexiglass the top was for iphones the bottom was for android because you know what i'm saying iphones are superior and that was how we did it but you know all of us were like we can't do this how are we ever going to be able to do this we were a team of four 
didn't know how we were gonna do it or anything. But we figured it out. Through our combined skills and through the classes that we had before, we, we understood how to make it work. We understood the lessons from our electronic classes, from our 2D and 3D design classes, from even welding. Like we, everything we learned prior to this project, we had to combine it. And that was how we were successful in making it. And sometimes life is funny and that's how it is. And sometimes a collection of everything you've learned throughout life, you may not ever know what it is might come together one day and be a source of income for you. This YouTube uh, channel, this YouTube channel for me is a perfect example. It's given me a nice, decent source of income from past experiences, from lessons I've learned to lessons that I'm teaching you today. This channel wouldn't have existed and that project that I just talked about wouldn't have been successful if I didn't continue to improve. If I decided to just stay stagnant and just stay in my head like, oh, I can't do this. You're gonna think that you're gonna have doubts. That's normal. You have to fight through those doubts. And on the other side of that doubt and the other side of that fear and the other side of that boredom is true success in leveling up financially. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed making it for you. Super, super fun. This is the type of topic that gets me really fired up. So shout out to bro in one of my previous videos who asked to make a video about this because this right here is cool. And this goes for any of y'all. If any of y'all have video recommendations, leave them down below. And when I can get to them, I will absolutely make your requests. As long as I have knowledge in it, I'm not about to sit here in front like I know stuff that I don't know because I don't do that. That's false advertising. That's not me. But yeah, shout out to him for making that request. And hopefully this video did answer your question. And I had a lot of fun making it. Hopefully y'all got something out of it. But anyways, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. So you can control you, control your finances and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Stay cold.